y'all what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel so a lot of you have been asking me how I um, put together my videos and how I cut and edit my videos and I wanted to make something that is a little bit different so this is me coming to y'all um, you know no makeup on we doing a little bit of a tech talk today so I'm going to show you all basically how I cut and edit my videos and I actually just started using this new program um, the normal program used to, I usually use is Final Cut Pro but that joint y'all cost $300 and I actually came across um, this company by the name of Movavi which I um, am partnering to bring you on this video and and I wanted to show you all how to use it because it's not only um, free, but also like if you want to get the full version, it's super incredibly affordable compared to the $300 that Final Cut is. Um, and it's super, super, super easy to use. Like it's very beginner friendly. And I just like, like I said, I just started using it and it takes me like, they really do all the work for you. And you pretty much are getting very similar, like, you know, features that you would also get in like, you know, Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, but like very easy to follow. And it doesn't hurt your eyes to look at the screen because everything is just there and things just, you know, look much neater I feel like but yeah so I want to show you all how I um, you know use this program and just kind of give you a step-by-step -step, um, tutorial on how to use it um, I'm gonna warn y'all this is a bit of a long video so make sure you grab your popcorn your you know drink your drink your drink or you know cup of tea because this is gonna be a long one but it's definitely gonna be informative so I hope it helps you all um, if you all are interested to see some like behind the scenes of how I film and like the whole filming process because um, I know a lot of you are thinking about starting your own YouTube channel which is awesome um, if you have questions about that definitely comment down below and let me know if you want to see sort of a you know behind the scenes of filming and how that works and how I come up with my ideas before we get into it of course y'all if you haven't already uh, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you are notified when I put out new content each and every week and yeah, I will also link everything down below to um, the Movavi site, um, which is www.movavi.com. And I'll put that down below to where you can download the programs for either PC, Windows, um, or Mac. So check that out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm gonna show you all how to use the Movavi video editor. Right now I'm on the website because I wanna show you all how to download it. Um, they offer the free version, which you can download for either your Mac or your PC. So if you have a, a Windows PC, you will go click on this button right here. Um, but since I have a Mac, we're gonna go ahead and click on this button right here. And that will start installing the free version, which will just then click and install that onto our desktop and our computer. Um, so if you want to do that, you definitely can get the free version for free. Um, but if you want to get the full version or like a larger version, um, you can go over there to say uh, where it says buy it now. And they have the different versions of the video editor. Final Cut Pro is $300. So literally all of these together is still less and cheaper than Final Cut Pro and you make bomb videos with this. Um, but for right now, I've already downloaded this onto my computer. So we're, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And I have it right here already opened up for y'all. Look how efficient I am today. Huh. So as you can see, this is like super, super beginner friendly, user friendly. Starting from up here, you have your regular controls. So your file button to open up a new project, um, you know, start a new project, save a project, new montage all that and then you have your edit for your main controls like undo delete put, cut and paste all of that your playback button and then your uh, export button for when you finish your project and you want to export it as you know audio or video um, and you can even upload it directly to YouTube so for all of you folks who are starting out YouTube yeah this like like in Final Cut, it, it exports it as like an MOV file, which is a very big file for YouTube. So like to export it directly and upload onto YouTube, yeah, that's a lifesaver right there. So, so you have that and of course your help um, if you need help. So getting into the main controls. So right here, as you can see, I have my import window open. Um, you can import things like media files, like such as video, um, you know, photos, you can even record a screencast, um, and then you can just add pictures and all that, backgrounds and all that. So like you have sounds, um, music, all of that. And the cool thing about this is you can either click on here to like, you know, add your media files. You can add your media files just simply by, you know, clicking on here. 
and then um, it'll open up your window and then there you have your, your media files. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that, but you see that it opened that up for you. Then if you want to actually just go ahead and open up another window and simply drag a media file into your timeline, you can definitely do that. And as you can see, when I dragged it in over top of my pre-existing media files, it does this, you know, automatically. So say for example, you're a gamer and you want to show your, you know, in-game playing and then yourself playing the game. Like this is super helpful. So now that you know how to import things, I'm going to go down here to the filters button. So this is just kind of your, you know, effects and filters. Um, so I'm just going to like take this and I'm going to just drag that onto um, a clip and as you can see it shows a little star and that will apply that mosaic filter to that so you can choose from any of these little effects um, to just add and then you just simply drag and drop that over there onto your um, your clip and it'll show a little green star to show that it has the filter applied once you finish putting your effects and everything you also have your transitions which are right here um, now there's two things about the transitions um, two ways to kind of add transitions if you want to add just a general transition to everything you can actually just click on this button right here um, which you just open it up and it will apply a specific transition to um, all of your clips so you can either use random transitions or you can use the pre um, what's the word just the pre-installed transitions right here but if you want to do it individually we're gonna go ahead and see what we want to play with so now we're gonna go ahead and add this to our clip and then we'll just drag over where we want our transition to start and I chose the pinwheel and so I'm going to let that load and then click my playback button or my space bar and as you can see it made a cool pinwheel effect so now we're gonna move on to text um, so for text you have your um, text control right here your titles and if you want to add um, you know you can either have like a title overlay like this um, where if you just drag it in between it'll have its own little background and stuff like that so it'll play um, you know just a sequence right here over top of a black background and then if you want to drag that over top of a text or over top of a clip so that it, it overlays on top of your clip um, you can just simply drag that above the clip and it will do this right here which is super cute and then now I'm gonna check out my stickers which are super super adorable you can add stickers and of course overlay them over top of your clip and so and I can also scale them down if I wanted to so if you just go over to your uh, viewer and you can scale them move them around make them super big and then just add and you can apply them like so so that when you play back so go ahead and play back it just pops up like here now down here you have some more effects and this right here so you're able to do like different effects with like call outs and animations pans and zooms you can stabilize your clips which is really great for dance videos um, highlight and conceal and then chroma key which is used for green screen you can use that for that and then let's see let's check out the animations so you add a keyframe by moving your cursor right here and then you can add a keyframe and then when you add a keyframe you can add and you start adding an action so I'm like just moving it slightly to the right and then I add another keyframe and then I'm gonna move it slightly up so this is what it looks like in the playback so I'm just kind of bouncing up and down so that's pretty cool. I'm going to play that again one more time. So that's all the keyframes that we added. So when you are um, in your timeline, um, right above it, you have these controls right here. So of course, this is your undo, redo, and your garbage can. Um, and then you have your splicing tool right here, your splitting tool. So with the splitting tool that allows you to uh, cut your clips wherever your cursor is. So I'm going to just place my cursor wherever I want it to be split. And I just go ahead and click on this right here. And that will split it as well. Um, you can also use the trimming tool 
which basically when you go in between your clips or right before and after your clips you get this kind of um, double-sided arrow and you can just use that to kind of either trim your clips to a certain point to make it shorter so if you want to cut out all the stuff that you don't want you can trim it and it, it kind of scrubs through um, in the preview screen and when you decide oh yeah that's where you know where I want it to start you just keep it at that and then again if you want to make it longer of course you can just go ahead and move that back and then you rotate if you want to actually physically rotate the the clip and make it horizontal vertical all of that you have your crop button if you want to go ahead and crop out or zoom in rather or like yeah crop out and even rotate you know um, what you want to what you want to show and that way when it plays back it's like more heavily zoomed in because it's cropped to what you know you decided you wanted to crop it to and then you also have your color adjustments so yeah if you want to add you know enhance the clip um, add you know auto saturation contrast different things like that play it around with the white balance especially for color correcting and make it look extra bomb you can do that and you can also go into manual adjustments so you can manually adjust the brightness as you see oh that's very bright so you can manually manually adjust the brightness play around with the saturation so I can add that and we'll bring the brightness down way way down and like you can also um, enter a number two and then you can play around with the gamma the shadows hue all of that and then like I was saying the transition wizard I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply all the same transitions to my entire clip so that when I and it's gonna load for a little bit and then when I play back all of my clips will have the same transition or random transitions rather because I think it was set on random transitions so a lot is going on right here but I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it to the same transition so you can see what I mean so it was set on random now I'm gonna change it to let's just say let's just say cube let's play with cube and apply all just keep cubing yep just keep cubing as I fumble with my materials but yeah so very fun to use um, and now obviously right here is your little microphone if you want to do a audio voiceover which I'm doing right now and then if you want to you know check out the clip properties now there's actually another way of doing that too but if you want to check out the clip properties such as your speed so if you want to speed up a clip and make it faster in fact I'll go to this one since it's a long clip if you want to speed it up you're just going to you know bring your cursor which it's shortening the clip which means it's speeding it up and you can also change the percentage manually if you want to do that and put it to like say 300 so it like plays it back super fast and if I want to do super slow um, I can actually just even double click on the clip and then go right to the clip properties so just simply by double clipping double clicking on the clip you can go straight to your tools um, clip properties and play around with the speed if you want to reverse it you can also click on the audio now I took out all the audio um, for the most part except for here but if you click on double click on the audio it does the same exact thing so whether you click on the video it'll take you to the video tab for your clip properties and if you click on the audio it'll take you to the audio tab so it separates automatically the audio from the clip so it's already synced up but if you even want to move it so yeah you can literally just move it just like by dragging it down and then detaching it from the clip whereas in final cut you have to like you know manually go in and detach it like by right clicking on it or something like that but you can literally just drag this and um, you know you see it snaps back also so it's already synced and then you can just like move it anywhere you want obviously coming over to here you've probably seen this already you have your play button you have your scrolling tools so if you want to fast forward through something or just kind of go clip by clip as you can see every time I click it it goes into one or like frame by frame rather so if you want to just kind of you know scrub through frames but at like very very carefully you can do that and then right here you have your um, zooms so this will give you full screen mode and this will actually take this window and just bring it out like so 
So if you want to kind of just work a little bit more closely, but if you want to put it back and if you prefer to be right there, um, you can keep it like that. And then of course you have your volume. So if you want to preview your volume and everything. Um, and then down here is your timeline, of course. And then this is your, um, I just call it a cursor. Um, there's a name for this, but girl, your girl don't know. So this is just your cursor that you just kind of scroll through your clips and just play things and I usually just use my space bar um, to just play everything but you can also go over here and click on the little arrow which is your play and pause button if you want to if you're like me and you don't wear your glasses when you're supposed to and you can't see nothing you can either use this button the scale button down here to either scale it to a smaller size or a larger size so you can really see what you're working with and really get in depth with those clips and then if you scroll down, you can see that you have different sections of your timeline for, you know, for example, this is where your text will go if you want to overlay text. This is where effects can go or like a second set of clips if you want to put that. And then obviously your audio will go down here if you want to move around your audio. So yeah, and then last but not least, you, you have your export button. If you want to go ahead and export your video, I didn't even realize how many versions you can save it as. YouTube files are really great with MP4. Or like the YouTube like uploading version, MP4 is perfect for that. And I usually do H.264. Um, and you save it as that and it just saves that automatically. It tells you your file size, your resolution, how you can choose the quality. Um, now keep in mind that might affect how long it's going to take to, you know, render and everything. So that is pretty much all for this tutorial, y'all. I hope I covered everything. Um, I tried, you know, I know this is definitely going to be a lengthy video, but I really do want you all to like check this program out. And like I said, there is a free version you can use, but if you really want like the full effects, um, I'm using the full version right now. If you want the full version, like like seriously, y'all, this has everything honestly you need. Like 10 out of 10, to be honest with y'all, like 10 out of 10, because it's easy for people who are beginning to like use this, even people who are intermediate advanced. Like I think that this program is really, really great. So that is all for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Again, I will leave all the links down below to where you can download the Movavi video editor on their website um, and check them out. Um, and yeah, definitely check it out. Try the free, free version. If you like it, go ahead and get the full version because I, I honestly feel like it's totally worth it. So yeah, that's all for now, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.